Hello there. I'm just filming some western honeybees flying in and out of that town. As you can just about see. Hmm. Yes. They're in a hive in that big tree there. In that town. Hmm. I'm actually filming these western honeybees on my dad's private land. Hmm. Which is lucky for me because now I've got a bit of peace and quiet, of course, to film them. Now, as you can see, the the honeybees are sort of a brownish yellow or orange in colour, uh, with some stripes on their abdomen, as you can just about see on this individual. Hmm. Hmm. Uh, there are three cases of honeybee. Uh, there's the workers, which are the non-reproductive honeybees, and they're all females. And there's the drones, the reproductive males. And of course there's the queen, who is the only bee to reproduce, and, and who is the mother of the bees. Hmm. Uh, the western honeybee has been domesticated by man for thousands of years. Well, for its great taste of honey. Hmm. Which first began in Egypt, I think. Hmm. And they're very hmm, popular for beekeeping on domestic hives. Hmm. And for those who love Honey. <laughs> uh, now the western honeybee is originally native to throughout much of Europe, Africa and Western Asia and due to being domesticated for thousands of years they have been introduced into many parts of the world including North America, Eastern Asia <laughs> and even Australia. Hmm. So yes, uh, the western honeybee does have a, <laughs> a, a global <sighs> wide range now. Well, now the hive of the western honeybee is made out of wax which is made by the bees, of course, to, to make uh, the, the cells. And also, as I said earlier, only the queen breeds in the hive. And she can lay between 60,000 to 80,000 eggs. And each egg is put in a, a single cell. Hmm. Yeah, that's right. And after around three days, uh, a white larvae emerges. Hmm. And the workers uh, take care of the larvae. Well, many of them do, and others have responsibilities of collecting pollen and pollinating the plants. Hmm. Hmm. And after around six days, the pupal stage emerges. And after around 12 days, yeah, the young bee turns into an adult. Mm. Mm. And those are, you, though those are the, only the workers that develop first. Yeah, the drones, the male western honeybees, t take slightly longer to become adults. Mm. And they stay in the, the colony for some time and and later on in the year they're rejected by the workers. Uh, now the young western honeybees are fed on a rich liquid sauce known as royal jelly. But the, the worker larvae honeybees are then fed on pollen after a few days. But uh, 
young western honeybees that are fed on uh, the royal jelly then develop into queens and the first western honeybee queen to emerge from the colony well <laughs> develop into an adult first may sting the other queen honeybees to death which seems rather cruel but I guess this is nature's way Yeah, just hold on a minute. Yeah, they're still flying in and out of that hole. Mm. And after mating, well, the new uh, queen honeybee will either take over her mother's nest or she may take some of some of the other work honeybees with her to establish a new colony yeah that's how it works in the western honeybee world Now the habitat of western honeybees is usually woodlands and they usually prefer woodlands where there's lots of plants because western honeybees are very important for pollinising certain flowering plants and even some of our crop species so and that's why we need western honeybees Mm, okay, I'll leave this colony in peace now. Well, thanks for joining me on Animal Kingdom 5000, and I'll see you next time.